this past winter when it was pretty chilly outside I once again tried transplanting some comfrey hair and it's growing um, one of the reasons I chose this spot is because that's here's the goat shelter um, not sh let's see if you can see it over here and I just fed the goats in the shelter um, some cedar so that's what they're eating but you see the roof angles down um, it's not perfect strangely uh, a year two years ago I can't even remember now the thing literally slid off it just slid off I heard a noise I was in the house at the time I can't I don't think it was raining but I can't even remember what was happening but I heard a noise and when I later came out um, I literally found the roof upside down over here it was the craziest thing um, got some neighbors out here and they put it back up thankfully um, they didn't have to dismantle the whole thing um, they were able to just get it back up easily enough and secure it but because of that it's not as flat and angled as it used to be but it's still angled right now it's misting we're supposed to get some severe rain later today on um, this afternoon but right now it's just kind of misting but you know it doesn't take much um, if you know anything about rainwater catchment rain roofs um, very little bit of rain adds up when you're trying to catch it into a water cistern or something well I'm using that principle because I know even if we get a light mist sprinkle whatever there's going to be more water falling off this roof here than say here where it's just open sky above it and so that's why I chose this spot because there's no water out here I have to hand carry water and I have hand carried water many times out here when it was super dry um, you know hadn't rained for a couple weeks or so where I, the, my main comfrey bed is in the cabin I mean in the vegetable garden but on the right on the other side of the fence is the goats water trough so I'm assuming it is doing so well there because water gets splashed out there often by the you know the dogs or the goats drinking or whatever is happening there's also faucet there that drips so I, it gets lots of water there and so I was hoping I had tried this once before last fall but I think it was just or maybe it was last summer I don't remember when it was but I think it was like too dry or you know conditions just weren't right for it to take off all I did was dig up the root ball um, the, there was no leaves on it at the time um, the goats had eaten everything off and transplant them and they did not that first time they didn't seem to take so I tried it again and I've spread them out on purpose because comfrey spreads as it grows so eventually this will be all filled up in here is my goal and then I can come through ever so often hopefully the deer or anybody won't find it and eat it up but um, if they do they do but hopefully they won't the, once it's established the comfrey has such a long tap root and it will go right through all these rocks and get the minerals down deep and bring them up to the soil so it will improve the soil in this area plus I can harvest it for the animals um, the goats and chickens I mean I can harvest it plus um chop and drop i can make fertilizer with it you know make comfrey tea for the garden or just chop it up and put it right in the dirt i mean there'll be uses for it so i am so thrilled that it is growing here and so i just wanted to show you this because if you're dealing with something like i am where you want more you know you want to grow comfrey or something else in an area where it will be really hard for you to um, water 
regularly because you'll have to carry it. Think about roof lines and other situations that you can create that um, will help it grow. I mean, it's outside the goat paddock, so the goats are not going to get to it. But I'm using the roof. And this girl does not think the word stay means anything. Does not apply to her. Yes. And guess who's going to get to take that tire all the way back to the house? Yes, and here comes Sarah. No, well, let's... Come on, you want to get petted? No, you're not in... Oh, hi, Sarah. Um, it's been kind of raining all morning. Or at least the last few hours. Not heavy. Just a little bit. I'm holding the camera phone in one hand, petting in the other. Sometimes, often, Tiffany's been wanting to get petted. At least only when I'm on this side of the panel. And, um... I'm using my legs to hold the bottle. This one wants to be petted. She's kind of muddy. They're getting low on water, so I brought some water with me. Um, you got to be creative when you have animals on how to care for them. No, that's enough, Sarah. You want to get petted, Je Tiffany? I mean, Treasure? No, Treasure, you don't want to get petted today. 